Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to look at multiplication of real numbers and in particular, the signs associated with them. What do you do when you multiply a positive and a negative number or two negative numbers or three negative numbers? Well, here are some examples to look at. For example, when we multiply two times six, well, if they're both positive, the answer will be positive and therefore positive 12. But if one of them is negative, a negative two times a positive six or a positive two times a negative six, that will make the, ne the answer negative. If one of the signs is negative, then the answer is negative. So this will be a minus 12, and this will be a minus 12. But if both are negative, a negative 2 times a negative 6, that gives you a positive 12. The key is, when you multiply, when all of them are positive, the answer will be positive. When one of them is negative, the answer will be negative. When both of them are negative, the answer will be positive. Or, if you have an odd number of negatives, the answer will be negative. If you have an even number of negatives when you're multiplying together, the answer will be positive. Instead of numbers, if you use letters to represent numbers like a and b or x and y, the rule is the same. a times b, if they're both positive, the answer will be a times b. If one of them is negative, that will be a negative ab and a negative ab. It doesn't matter if the a is negative or the b is negative. And when both are negative, minus a times a minus b, that gives you a positive ab. Now let's take a look at this. Now we have four numbers. Notice on the first one here, we have three negatives. Again, when the number of negatives is odd, in this case three is an odd number, we multiply this together. Two times three times four times five is 120. Three negatives means negative 120. If two of them are negative, that makes that a positive 120. If three of them are negative, a negative 120, and if one is negative, again, a negative 120. Oh, wait a minute, I see that they're all four are negative, so this makes it a positive. Hmm, I was wondering if I put the same number, the same example up twice. So yes, if all of them are negative, there's four of them, that's an even number of negative signs, you get a positive answer. It doesn't matter if they're numbers or letters representing numbers. Here notice there's only one negative sign, they're all multiplied together, this becomes minus A, B, C, D. Notice when you multiply them together, you can write them all together, or you can write it like this. This is equal to minus A, B, C, D. It doesn't really matter, it just shows that they're all multiplied together. Here when there's two negative signs, two negative signs multiplied together give you a positive. This is A, B, C, D. Here notice that there's three negative signs, that makes this negative again, negative A, B, C, D. And finally, four negatives, just like we did over here, there's four negatives, that's an even number of negatives, that gives you a positive answer, A, B, C, D. And that's how we multiply real numbers, and you can see that when there's signs involved, an odd number of negatives make the answer negative, an even number of negatives, when you're multiplying together, the answer is positive, and that's how it's done. 